Hi guys, I'm Ron Jameson, and I'm going to be talking about set notation. So, a set informally is a collection of things. The things in the set are called the elements and are listed inside curly braces. Also in set notation, symbols are used to represent the classification of numbers. Here they are. N, the counting numbers. Z, the integers. Q, the fractions. R, the real numbers. Sets can be related to each other. If one set is inside another set, it is called a subset. Suppose A equals set 1, 2, 3, and B equals set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then A is a subset of B, since everything in A is also in B. This is written as A is a subset of B. If two sets are being combined, this is called the union of the sets, and is indicated by the large U-type character. If instead of taking everything from the two sets, you're only taking what is common to the two, this is called the intersection of the sets and is indicated with an upside down U type character. So if C equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and D equals 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then the union of C and D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the intersection of C and D is 4, 5, and 6. I forgot to mention that you can state the elements of a set using an E-type character. Suppose you have the set A equals 1, 2, 3. Since 1 is an element of A, you write it as 1 is an element of A. Set theory is big on using objects called empty sets. They're denoted as phi or just plain empty set. That's all. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.